All right, first off, I know it's been a while. I've got plenty of videos on the way. They're just, they take a while to edit, you know, and whatever, you know, we're gonna get there. But second of all, okay, so today, I wanted to try something a little different just because I, I tried this a little earlier and it is so funny, the outcome of it. So what we're gonna be doing today is turning creepy pastas into AI videos. It uses like stock images or whatever, stock, footage to create these videos and the outcome is hilarious so what we're gonna first do is go over to creepypasta so we gotta find a short one so this one's four minute reading time so uh i'm just going to i think i already have it highlighted copy it go over here to this website called invideo ai uh, io we're gonna go create video uh we're gonna go script to video and I'm just gonna hit paste. Uh, so there is some things I have to delete that says advertisements because I deleted the, or copied the whole uh, the whole thing. Okay, so that should be all of them. So now we're gonna make the background music uh, spooky. Um, use any voice or any, yeah, we just do any male or female, any voice um, for the narrator, I guess. Um, add any subtitles, uh, sure. Use watermark text, uh, no. Use eye stock as needed. Uh, use audio library only, YouTube audio library only. Okay, so we're just gonna hit confirm. We're just going to generate that video. Uh, it's gonna take a second to load, so I'll, I'll be back when it loads. Um, and, oh man, you guys are gonna love this. All right, here we go. The video call connected and my boyfriend smiled. First, I love you and I miss you and I can't wait until you get home. I love you too and I can't wait either. I peered at the computer screen. Where are you? <laughs> what the f*** does that have to do with anything? I mean, yeah, I'm sorry, that's so funny. I love you too and I can't wait either. I peered at the computer screen. Where are you? <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> so dumb. The discovery. I'm in the attic. When I put my archery equipment up here, I found something cool. He just purchased an old house in Houston in a quiet neighborhood that Aaliyah hoped would someday be their neighborhood. Okay, nice little video of the attic pulled there. A dusty chest under the dangling light bulb so I could see the inscriptions. It looked Arabic. He opened it and pulled out a triangular shaped amulet made of silver. He opened it and pulled out a triangular shaped amulet. Triangular shaped amulet. That's a dog, dude. That's a fucking pug or a bulldog or some shit. Made of silver. It had the same markings. Next, <laughs> a tiny sliding box that contained bits of paper and wood and some unidentifiable chunks. Smells like Jasmine? Yo! <laughs> what she smelling? <laughs> I, I have to know, like, what is the context of some of these, like, stock videos? It's, like, who comes up with this? They're just, oh, let me smear powder all over my face. That's a good one. Somebody will pay for that. Oh, man. Sniffing it. The next item was a drawstring bag. He opened it and poured the contents in his palm. Ugh. Toenail clippings. What the hell? That is definitely a hand. I think the last time I did it with this story, um, it came up with the worst fucking photo I've ever seen of toenails. They were just <laughs> disgusting. He opened it and poured the contents in his palm. Ugh, toenail clipping. Yeah, that's definitely a hand. The last two things in the chest were a tattered copy of the Quran and a box of glass balls. <laughs> I swear the ball lurched in his palm. It crashed to the floor and shattered. Something flashed like fire. Brody cursed. What was that? Bro just got goat seed. <laughs> I, I don't know. He said, staring at something out of Alia's line of sight. He cocked his head, listening. Brody, then Donette. What? Donette was his mother's name. Brody <laughs> looked blankly at the screen. And... Nice little boomerang there. <laughs> I have to go. Without another word, he ended the Skype call. I tried to call him back and he didn't answer. He didn't answer that night. 
Finally, the next morning, he did. I love the absolutely giant eye stock by Getty images just smack in the middle of the screen. That's great. I mean, you have to pay to get rid of that shit, but it's it's just funny without it. Didn't answer that night. Finally, the next morning, he did. I'm a little busy right now. Are you okay? Yeah. And he ended the... <laughs> the voice changing is crazy. I'm a little busy right now. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like two to, it's like three different voices right there. I tried to call him back and he didn't answer. He didn't answer that night. Finally the next morning he did. I'm a little busy right now. Are you okay? Yeah. And he ended the call. <laughs> I heard nothing from him. Okay, why is there seven different people narrating? This is crazy. Day, so I called his sister and asked her to check on him. She called back an hour later. Yeah, Alia, I saw him. He looked a little rough. Look, have you guys been fighting? What? No. Not only is there seven different people narrating, there's seven different people uh, playing each character, which is great. I mean, they got the music on point. I'll give them that. He just looked at me when I told him you were worried. He was fine yesterday. We were making plans for Christmas break. Another hesitation. He almost acted stoned. I've never known Brody to... He doesn't, ever. Well, just Dude, I'm dying. They're just showing random photos at this point. Like to me when I told him you were worried. He was fine yesterday. We were making plans. For <laughs> Another hesitation. He almost acted. Stunned. Like what? I've what con? Brody to he doesn't ever. Well, just give him a day or two. Maybe he really is just busy with something. What are these photos, dude? I'd loved the professor and dropped by her office the morning before my flight home. Alia, what a nice surprise. What her smile faded when I told her about Brody's find oh. and that strange video call. She went to the shelf and picked up a book. Thumbing through the pages, she stopped and handed it to me. Did the markings and amulet look like this? Yes, what is this? We didn't discuss it much in class, but the Quran holds that there are three sapient creations of Allah angels, humans, and jinn. The objects you describe were used by magicians to control and use jinns to do their bidding. Sometimes they trapped these creatures in glass balls. A jinn? I laughed. You mean a jinn? Oh, this one again. The things you described are evil magic. You said he repeated his mother's oh, name. Oh, man. The legend okay, okay. Who, who sits in their attic and films this for a stock evil image? Magic. This right he here. He repeated his what is bro doing? Hang on. Okay, I had a Jason mask um, for an old Halloween costume, but I can't find it. Um, that would have been so funny. I could have just recreated this right now. Name? The legend is a magician needs three things from you to discuss. That's definitely a magician. Uh, no, this looks like the dude from the uh, Tootsie Rolls. Uh, you know, you'd always look for it on the Tootsie Roll uh, rapper, the Indian shooting the star, or the Native American. Sorry. You with the demons. A name, your mother's name, and a trait. What does this have to do with anything? What is this photo? Hair, nail clippings. You don't really believe in genies? She looked at me for a long moment <laughs> and then said... <laughs> this just looks like some uh, clip art that you would use for like a business presentation. <laughs> I'm sending you an email with pa passages to read to ward off gin possession. When you see Brody, why don't you just try it? And Alia, be careful. This is actually insane. They're just using photos, just random photos. Has nothing to do with anything. Like, look at look at this sequence right here. And then said, I'm sending you an email with passages to read to ward off Jin possession. When you see Brody, why don't you just try it? And Alia, be careful. He opened Crazy. on the third knock. His appearance shocked me. He looked tired. <laughs> Unshaven. He definitely he looks tired. Stranger. Brody? What's going on? Something flitted in the hallway behind him, like the aftermath of a camera flash. I swear for an instant I saw a woman made of flames. He glanced behind him. Oh my god, this guy again. You should go. He shut the door in my face. I waited till nightfall and took the hidden key to let myself inside. The house was quiet as I crept through it, searching for him. When I peeked into his bedroom, I gasped. Brody lay prone on his bed, staring at the ceiling. <laughs> the flame woman sat on top of him. Her head whipped around when she heard me, and she hissed, 
revealing a pair of inch-long fangs. <laughs> I ran. Through the house, doors sounded like gunshots as they slammed. The front door wouldn't open. I screamed and jerked on it. She was coming. The attic ladder was down, so I lunged up the steps. What the f- What the fuck is this guy doing in his attic, dude? It's they killing me. <laughs> Bro's literally just tweaking in his attic. That's wild. I dug out my cell phone, trying frantically to open the email from my professor. Through the opening, Brody and the flame woman <laughs> stared up at me. The door <laughs> this is the funniest stock hours. video. I screamed the passages my instructor sent until both my voice and my cell battery died. Now I smell smoke. Oh man. Oh man. I we're gonna have a lot of fun with this one. Wow, that was great. I mean that was that was definitely fun. I liked that a lot. I will definitely be doing this again, so leave a like, uh if you liked it, if you want to see more, because I'll definitely be doing more, whether you like it or not, but you should like it. Like it, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. That's kind of it, though, folks. See ya.